gente de YouTube, estamos en un nuevo video para el canal y ya estamos de vuelta en The Walking Dead, capítulo 2, temporada 1, eh, justo en la decisión que habíamos tomado, que bueno, decidiste que todos deberían irse. Uh, we'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Gasolina por comida me parece una muy buena idea, la verdad. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. We used to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure, everybody looks up to you. Not us. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry. Larry knows. Great, that can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Oh, yeah. I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh, I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? It's a man. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. I forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Oh, you and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Oh, you we were hungry. You guys were keeping it off for There's yourself. There's only two of them. Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! The world out oh. here is going to shit. See Come on, now. let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Ok, creo que deberíamos tener cuidado con ellos. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. As T. Jones. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Cerca de aquí. The fence keeps them out. You betcha, they fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought. 
I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh, my goodness. That place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help Shut you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back to the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along and... Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Okay. Come on, Lee. Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? I think we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay. We need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay. Nah, mi idea es, eh, es que es mirar esto a ver qué tan bueno es. A ver. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. I wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks oh. stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. 
That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. No sé, es que me siento malas. Siento malas vibras con él. Es raro. ¿Me con estos zapatos? No veo nada con ese filtro negro. This rope is perfect for the sway. Ah, tengo una cuerda. Por el otro lado, a ver qué hay. No creo que pueda entrar la casa realmente. Pero voy a intentar igual. Ay, no, sí, sí puedo. Ah, no, no puedo. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Okay. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Mm -hmm. Just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home cooked meal. Yeah, okay, well, if anything good. comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Pues a ver, dijo que mi grupo se podía quedar acá. Creo que no es tan malo preguntar cuántas habitaciones hay en la casa. Bueno. Mark. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Ahí vamos, poco a poco. Hmm, pointy. Ah, para reparar el cuarto. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Por acá me parece que es una sierra. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Ahora mi pregunta es, ¿dónde se guardan las cosas? Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? No, it was trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. I don't know if it's been arranged, but well, let's go. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. 
looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest okay. thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Yeah. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. <laughs> Creo que exploré todo lo que podría haber explorado. Ahí está la granja. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. All right. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Yeah. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Se me di cuenta. Luz. Flecha. Somebody right there some blue dots. Looks like he's stuck. Looks like he's stuck. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way. Hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Yo. Man, the fence burned right mind. into its okay. hands. I think they fused together. <laughs> you never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Yep. I can't stop thinking about death. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. Sí, 
Samuel, aquí está sin like discos, entonces podremos pasar de nuevo. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Oh! Ah! What the? Get to the gate. Oh! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Oh. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Sí, yo también puedo verlo. Eh. Uh, no sé qué hacer. Ya sé. Ya sé. Ya sé. Ya sé. Sí, me dejas. No, para allá. Para esto. Bueno, y voy a dar aquí tal. Pero, ah, no, 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 Sí, sé que nos pueden ver, pero tienen re mala puntería. Agradezco eso. No, no, What happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move it. Get to you, sir. I see ya. Ok, 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 sigamos. Uh, Oh, no. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Oh! We ¿Qué pasó? Usted está por... How many of those things did we push down? Okay. We had an arrangement. Barely. No sé, me dispararon. Eh, nos hemos, casi nos hemos cargado. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here on our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Oh, hey y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, okay. you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. 
I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. Oh, okay. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. <laughs> It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Okay. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Pero bueno, aquí dejamos el episodio de hoy. Espero que les haya gustado y nos vemos en la próxima. Adiós.